Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about Howley in Missouri. You know, most people fully understand that objecting to the electoral votes was a political show. It wasn't going to happen. It was doomed to fail. Those who engaged in it, those who participated in it, did so solely to energize their base, solely to gain political brownie points. They did it for poll numbers. And it helped create an atmosphere that uh, led to what we saw on Capitol Hill. Howley wanted to fire up his base. He wanted to uh, make sure that they would be behind him. Well, as fate would have it, that's not how things turned out. He is facing calls to resign from all over Missouri. A survey conducted by Data for Progress shows that 51% of likely voters would like him to resign. That includes one out of five Republicans. That's, uh, that's pretty steep when 20% of your own party would like you to resign. Um, I would point out the, the, these numbers don't reflect those who aren't going to vote for him again. These numbers reflect those who want him to step down. One out of five Republicans. 51% of likely voters. I would hope that this becomes a lesson for those in political office. You know, the, the, the best way to fire up your base, it's not through sensational headline grabbing. It's not through political stunts. It's not through showing your loyalty to the president. It's by uh, delivering for him. National politics has become about national policy. The thing is, the people who are sent to D.C. are sent there to represent a specific group of people. That's how the system is supposed to work. They often don't do that. They represent interests that, uh, well, maybe they can help get reelected because they can help trick and con the simple people of Missouri. Doesn't seem like they're that easily tricked. When uh, you go out of your way to engage in something that everybody knows is a stunt, that everybody knows is just about grabbing headlines. And there's a, uh, a turn of events that maybe you didn't predict. It's going to have bad outcomes politically. This is something that Democrats need to pay attention to right now. As they take the reins of power, they should probably keep in mind the only thing that is going to keep them holding those reins is if they deliver for the people who were slighted, those who were othered by the current administration and his enablers. If they want to have a successful 2022 or 2024, they have to deliver. They have to do the things that Americans want them to do, that those who sent them to D.C. want them to do. A whole lot of that is undoing the damage that Trump did. But that's only part of it. We have to actually fix the problems that led to him getting into office to begin with cannot go back to the status quo. You cannot go back to business as usual or you are going to end up like Holly here.
with half of your constituents wanting you to step down. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.